So one in four Jamaican women has been a victim of gender-based violence, having been physically abused by a male partner. Content creator Ashley Jade Anderson is using her platform to shed light on this matter, and she joins us now to tell us more. Ashley Jade, good morning. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. It's good to have you. Tell me a little bit about first how you got into, you look like a creative. I don't know if I'm stereotyping you. How did you get into content <laughs> creation? You. Um, I started because I really like making people laugh or making them smile or having something to relate to. Also, I like to be the voice of someone who, I used to be the voice of someone who doesn't have a voice. I use content creation to basically express the creative side of me. And back in the past, I'd always have witty statements or sarcastic comments to questions or um, statements and my family would always say actually you need to record yourself so that's what I started to do yeah sar sarcasm and creativity there's usually a little bit of a link there um, yes. I found so so you say you like to create videos to make people laugh but I mean gender-based violence is no um, la laughing matter violence against women yes. no laughing matter so yes. why did you decide that you needed to use your platform to go this route to address this matter in particular I feel as if it's a very prevalent issue in society and I just wanted to use my platform to raise awareness on the issue and I best express myself through making videos so that's the route that I chose and I'm a visual learner so I just thought that it would resonate better in the form of a video rather than reading about it or listening to it. How old are you Ashley? I'm 20 years old. You're 20 years old. And when you yes, hear, I, I mean, when we talk about violence against women, it seems like a, you know, an overarching thing that's kind of, we would think, far removed from a 20-year-old girl, right? 20-year-old young lady. But is this something that resonates with you strongly? Is this something that you hear people in your community, in your own circles, talking about whether male or female have they been victims of this as well oh, yeah personally i am a victim of it wow and i think every other friend that i have has been a victim of it really as well yes and i also grew up hearing the adults in my life speak about it i'm now in nursing school and i'm exposed to a lot of other women and you know you get close to them and you start listening to their personal experiences they're also victims of it within the marriages and so so it's yes you should never have to be saying that at 20 years old at all that is a travesty makes us wonder where we've gone wrong yes. and what we can do to fix it so i'm really happy that you've on the strength to use your voice to speak out against this. Tell me about some of the videos you've made. Um, where have you posted them and what the feedback has been like? Oh, I've made videos about well, when women go to the police station to report it and the police officers, uh, some of them, I uh, so want to say some police officers, you know, some are good. Um, but there are some that don't take the matter seriously and they you guess tell them to go home because of the clothes that they wear or they'd say that it's curfew time so they can't request at this time or they try to pursue them and not take it seriously and then you know a couple weeks or days or a month down the line that you hear that the woman died and it could literally be avoided so these videos i post them on my instagram and my twitter and it's Aniel underscore Jade, A-N-I-E-L-L-E -L -L -E underscore Jade. And in those bios, you'd also see my YouTube link and my um, TikTok link. As it relates to the feedback, a positive feedback because there are persons who, they like the fact that I'm using my platform to raise awareness on the issue. I guess the only negative feedback would be persons who, I guess, only see me in a comedic sense. So they think that I'm trying to make fun of the issue and that's not the case. Right, right. I hear the scenario. So police officer turns woman away. Um, curfew time. We can't deal with this because these are real issues that are reaching our women every single day. Um, yes, Ashley J. 
Mm. Yeah. So if you had, outside of this platform that you have, if there was a message you wanted to send to those who were in authority, um, to society at large, as to what we can each do to try to stem this issue or to get people to take it more seriously, to get the police to take it more seriously, what would you say? Um, as it relates to the, what persons would take away from the video, I would just hope that the men who aren't the perpetrators of these acts, they can step up where they can and help to protect women. Like if you're in a taxi and you see a woman being harassed, you know, you could say something. Or if you see someone walking on the road and her body language is uncomfortable and there's a man beside her and you realize that it's a stranger trying to get at her and she's not interested, you know, you could possibly walk up to her and, you know, get the guy away from her. I hope that the officers will possibly see the videos, realize the impact that it has on individuals and they do better take the report seriously because them taking it seriously would be the difference between a woman being alive or not, a child having their mom or their their mom or not, someone having their sister, their niece, their aunt, their grandma or not a child not experiencing something traumatizing, a child, a child not being a victim of the act. Actually, mm. they, them taking a report um, will help other women to report, which is also an issue yes. um, that I want to get your feedback on, especially in light of this uh, video that's come out in recent, in recent days. See a lot of people saying, you know, why do women don't go report and women need to report and women need to report and women need to report and... Um, not understanding that there are several other underlying issues. So what say you to the women who have faced this, who are afraid to come forward for whatever reason? To be honest, I just want to tell them to at least please to say something to someone and please report it. I understand that threats might be there as relates to the man threatening her and I know that abuse is just, isn't just um, what's the word? It's not just linear. There's a lot of emotional manipulation in it. There are persons who, I guess, the women, they aren't financially able to be on their own, so they might depend on the guy. But despite everything, please just say something to someone and just please report these incidents. Lots of layers. Tell us again where we find your content, Ashley. Um, on Instagram and Twitter, it's A-N-I-E-L-L-E -L -L -E underscore Jade. And in those bios, you'll have my YouTube link and my TikTok link. Thank you so yes. much, my love. Appreciate Thank you, you. so much. Stopping in with us this morning. Back. Broke my heart to hear you say you've experienced this and that every other friend you have has it. This is really heartbreaking but you're using your experience to try and help others. And so we thank you for that. Ashley Jade Anderson, content creator and advocate, clearly. Um, thank you so much, my love. After the break, we're going to have a chat with Gospel Group. Is it CAG or CAG, Putty? CAG family. After this. He slapped me in my face and kicked me down all because I wasn't in the mood to cook. And I, I guess you aren't so aware, but you can't be in the station in attire like that. Your shoulders are showing. Um, there's a sign outside that shows the dress code to come in. Are you being serious right now? To go home and put on something that's more appropriate and then come back. Back to the house of the man who just assaulted me.